Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so my Tati Beauty palette has arrived and I really want to play around with her and just kind of see what's going on with this palette. Now, I know you guys have already checked it out, <laughs> seen a million videos, pictures and all that, but this is what she looks like. Very sleek, kind of matte, very comfortable feeling packaging. It feels very Tati-esque, very nice, soft, lush. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Wish this palette was not cheap. <laughs> it was $48, but very, very nice feel for this packaging. It just says Tati Beauty, as you can see. Very clean line on the back minimal information. It does come with a black sleeve as well. Now what I did notice about this palette, which is very strange to me, it does say here Tati Beauty in volume one on the side. So it's very nice when she comes out with more volumes, you can just kind of put them on your shelf like books. Very, very nice. But it doesn't, I can't find the name of the palette anywhere which this one is called the textured neutrals i believe yeah textured neutrals volume one so maybe they're all going to be tech no i doubt if they're all going to be textured neutrals honey i don't know but i don't see textured neutrals written anywhere on this packaging so it does have a plastic sheet to protect the shadows a very very nice mirror as you can see in here full size of the palette very nice and this is what she looks like <laughs> like I said I know you guys are very familiar but I just wanted to check it out with you guys for myself see what it looks like see what it feels like do some swatches and create a look so yeah it's a very basic neutral um, palette but it's kind of interesting to me because it does have so many different textures now as we know it does come with six different shades but with these six different shades you get four different textures for each shade which I think is kind of cool it's very different you know different palettes have been coming out with the press glitters and stuff some people like it some people don't but Tati took it to a whole nother level okay because she said I'm gonna give you your mattes I'm gonna give you some sequins I'm gonna give you some metallics and then I'm gonna give you some glitters so you can kind of mix it up or you can create you know monochromatic looks using the different textures I do like that about this palette I think that's very unique different and I appreciate that in such a neutral palette <laughs> you know at least you got some textures to play with so anyways enough of all of that let's go ahead and jump into some swatches i'm gonna do the glitters last because you know i'm gonna have issues getting that off of my arm i'm gonna go ahead and start with the mattes and move my way up okay so we have memory ritual story Very nice. And we have Soothe, Aura, and Poet. So these are all the matte shades. So now I'm gonna move into the sequin shadows. So I have Memory, Ritual, and Story. Those are pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but it's basically like the matte shadow with just a hint of glitter. Oh, that's pretty. I like those, those are pretty. And we have Soothe, Aura, and Poet. Yo, those are pretty. Oh my gosh, I like those little glitter flecks in there. It just adds like a little bit of sparkle. I didn't expect to really like that, like that, but I like that. <laughs> That's pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna move into the metallics. So we have memory, ritual, story, and we have soothe, aura, and poet. 
So that's what the metallics look like. Very pretty, just look like regular shimmers to me though. I think this dark one up here is my favorite out of the metallics. And lastly, we have the glitter shades. Oh my gosh, look at those you guys. So pretty. Okay, so we have Memory, Ritual, and Story. Whew, Lord have mercy. <laughs> The camera is not doing these justice. Oh my goodness. Those are so pretty. Oh, gorgeous. And last we have Soothe, Aura, and Poet. Y'all see these? Oh my goodness. Let me see if I turn this light down a little bit. Okay, that helps you see the color a little bit better in the glitters. Oh my goodness. Oh, those are so pretty. Ah, oh, I'm weak for glitter, honey. That is so pretty. Okay, so just in case you're curious or not really sure about the size of the palette, just for reference, this is the size compared to the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. So as you can see, it's just a little bit smaller than that palette, but it's a very nice kind of compact size to me. I like it for it to have, what is it, 24 shades in here? Yeah, 24 shadows. I think it's a pretty decent size. I don't know if it's that safe to travel with with all the glitters and stuff, but it's a very nice compact size with a very nice mirror. So let's just go ahead and jump into a look, see how some of these shadows are gonna perform on my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with my brow bone today. So I'm gonna go into Soothe, the matte shadow, and just place a tiny bit of that just beneath my brow bone. Okay, next I wanna go into Story, the matte shade, and just place that throughout my crease. Now these mattes are pretty soft and I am getting kick up in the pan. Okay, very pretty. I'm gonna build it up just a little bit more. Very nice. I love these type of shadows because they build up nicely and they blend out easily. So, very nice. Okay, next I'm gonna go into Poet, this beautiful red shade here, and use that to deepen my crease. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Yes, and it is just, oh, it's laying down and it's blending out very nicely. Now, I did not really, I didn't use an eyeshadow primer on my lids. I just have a tiny bit of concealer that I used under my eyes, just, you know, gently tapped on my lids today. So I don't know if that is helping them lay down and blend out so nicely because I don't have a eyeshadow primer or a lot of concealer on my lid, but I am loving this right now. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit of story just to bring that orange back in just a little bit. Since I went crazy with the red. Now when asking the question, well, do I think this palette is worth $48? I would have to say yes, because considering the fact that there are 24 shades in this palette, that means it's only $2 a shadow. And that's pretty affordable <laughs> when you look at it that way. And not to mention the quality on this these shadows is very nice. I definitely think, yeah, it's worth $48. Although you're not getting, you know, a huge variety in color. If you're someone who likes these colors, if you don't really do the whole rainbow thing anyway, and you typically 
go-to warm tone like burgundies and oranges and stuff when you do venture out into color this is like the perfect palette for you honestly it gives you the option to stay simple or to glam it up with the glitters so i like it now i know this palette is currently sold out but i believe she is taking pre-orders for her next run if you are interested in it Okay, so now let's go into Memory, the black shade. <laughs> I don't want this look to go awry, but I feel like I really need to use that just to deepen up the outer and see how it's going to perform. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that, just a tiny bit to try and deepen up my outer corner a bit. Maybe I'll do a halo. Should I do a halo, you guys? Maybe I'll do a halo. I'll try to do a halo. So I'm just taking the smallest brush in the smallest amount and I'm just starting by tapping it right in that corner. Cause I can see it's already mad pigmented. I mean, I dipped it in and took a lot off on my hand <laughs> just to make sure that I didn't go crazy. So I'm just barely, barely putting some of that to deepen so yeah if you're wondering if the black is bomb yeah it is and I'm gonna put a little bit on the inner as well try and get a halo situation going just a little now I'm taking just a tiny bit of that red so I can blend out that black Okay, so now that I have the corners nice and smoky, before I lay down some glitter, I do want to bring some of this kind of burnt orange shade here, which is Story. I wanna place a little bit of that on my lid so it can kind of peep through, through the um, glitter. Okay, so for the glitter, I'm going to go into the same shade Story, and I'm just going to take and tap some of that on top of the center of my lid. And I'm not using a glitter glue, which I don't advise. <laughs> I advise you always use a glitter glue just to make sure it adheres, but because I'm curious as far as whether or not this will adhere, I'm going to go in without a glitter glue first, just to test it out. Oh yeah, it's sticking. <laughs> it is sticking and it is gorgeous. Oh, Lord have mercy. And now I'm just gonna go into that same shade story, but I'm gonna take the sequin shade and tap just a little bit of that right next to the glitter edges to see if that helps it blend out a little bit better. Yeah, I think it helps blend the edge of that glitter nicely into the other shadows because it has that little tiny bit of twinkle in there also. So yeah, I like that. It helps to create a softer transition from the super glitter into the mattes using that sequin. I like that. I like it. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I just wanna take a little bit of Poet and Memory kind of mixed together just a little bit and smoke out my lower lash line. And for an inner corner pop, I'm going to go into Aura and just pop that in my inner corner. And I'm just gonna blend that out just a little bit so it's not so bright. Very nice, okay. So I'm gonna add some black eyeliner to my up and lower lash line. And then I'll come back and tell you about my first impression thoughts on this Tati palette. So this is the final look you guys for this Tati Beauty um, texture, textured neutrals eyeshadow palette, <laughs> if I could say that. 
Um, first impression thoughts, I like it. I, I do, I like it. Um, and I'm hard pressed to find a negative about it because for one, like I said, I think that the price is pretty good for 24 shadows for it to be 48 bucks that's not bad okay and for all the different textures and feels of shadows i like it i feel like that makes this palette a little bit different it sets it a little bit apart um it's called texture neutral so i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't expect there to be blues and greens and purples and stuff in here Although, hopefully, for one of her future volumes, she will do, you know, a textured, colored <laughs> eyeshadow palette. I would love that. But I like it. I like the mattes, how they perform. I like the glitter, how it's stuck to my lid, even without a glitter glue. Even though I wouldn't suggest that in the future, I would definitely use a glitter glue because that's what I do. But I did want to just see how it would hold up if it would stick and if I would get a lot of fallout. And as you can see, mm -mm, nope, no fallout. I did my face beforehand and it's sticking. So I'm happy about that. Um, I do, I like this palette. I'm sorry, I don't have any negatives to say about it. <laughs> That's what you're here for. I don't, I like the packaging. I like the size of it. I like all the different textures. I'm comf I feel comfortable with the mattes. I will try it with a sticky base. And if I find, you know, that it performs differently, then I'll know that that's not the best way to go in with these shadows. But for what I did today, just having just a very slight amount of concealer on my lid, I think the color showed up. They stick nicely and they blend it easily. So I like it. <laughs> so those are just my first impression thoughts on this palette um that's it y'all <laughs> that's it i like this eye look i like the palette i think it's nice i don't regret purchasing it and i don't think i'll ever pick up this palette and use it without using the glitter bottom line i'm definitely going to use the glitters if i pick up this palette so anyways that's it for this video today thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to create this look and as usual if you liked it hit like Leave me a comment, subscribe, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!